Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to be playing a custom hold. A bunch of people have recommended Flood Warning to me. I've loaded it up in Drod 5. Once I loaded it, it dumped me here into the Gunther and the Epic Blunder title screen, which is interesting. So I don't know if I'll be playing as B-Throw or Gunthrow or what. Yeah, I know only a few things of this about this hold, so this will be a new experience. Let's give it a try. Answerer showers. The annual floods tended to be a quiet time for Smite Masters. Lowland holds were safely locked underwater, and whilst the odd tower or castle dungeon were still prone to infestation, the contracts wouldn't usually arrive until the following month. Which made it somewhat unusual when an urgent request came in from near nearby Melonfrel. The walled city itself had little to fear from the floodwaters, but the contract was for a mainland outpost on a hill overlooking the city. Apparently a twin in division had been allowed to set up a training facility on the condition that they come to the aid of Melonfrol in the case uh, in the event of an invasion. It would still be several days before the floods completely receded, but the contract would not wait. And so, after a cold and wet crossing by means of a local fisherman's boat, Bethro approached the outpost, wondering what the emergency was and hoping he'd soon be somewhere nice and dry. Okay, so I am the playing as Bethro. Be just up ahead. I'll be glad to finally get out of the storm. This sounds to me... I'm pretty sure that's... Uh, I believe his name was... No, what was his name? Um, I believe that's the voice actor used for Bethrow in uh, Gunther of the Epic Blunder. Not Sten Ryerson, or however you pronounce that. Was it Logan West, or was he... I think Logan West was Gunthrow. I forget the one who did Bethrow. Alright, what did that say? Melonfrawl. Pick and sass. The Overlook. I was not paying attention to what Bethro said. I was paying more attention to his voice than his words. <laughs> My name is Bethro. Okay, well that's Sten. What? Uh huh. Uh, I think he mentioned the outpost. I'm really not sure. If I reset, the outpost it, should be it, just up ahead. I'll be glad to finally get out of the storm. All right, let's go to the outpost. Aha. Uh -huh. You must be the civilian exterminator we have been waiting for. Very good. I have been standing here for a few days now, and my feet were starting to go numb. You've been... Never mind. Yeah, I'm Bethro Budkin, Smite Master. The message said you had some sort of... infestation, right? Yes, a vile infestation of the foulest sort. Ordinarily, we stalwart, would press forward, and overcome such hindrances ourselves. But we are far from home, and must admit to some minor inexperience in these matters. Well, I'm a professional. Can we get inside now? I'd like to get to work. Of course, come. There is much to do. All right. Uh, I could maybe go some other places. Does it let me? I think that way, but miles of floodland. No. Uh, what about here? That's not the way to the outpost. Nope. Okay. Rising damp. So, you didn't exactly say what kind of pests got in. It was terrible. Not two weeks ago, cracks started forming in the lower levels. It came in from every corner, ambushing us from all sides. Yes, but what? Before we knew it, two floors were lost to us. We pushed back as hard as we could, but we were ill-prepared, and many of us without the proper equipment. So not roaches, then. When I left to await your arrival, we'd managed to claw out a foothold on the lowest level, but it still keeps on coming. And... Even should we drive out this menace, it will take months to get our outpost back to working order. I'm starting to get the impression he's talking about water. Some kind of tar? So it was decided. Obviously, we need an expert hand at this, someone used to this lowland hazard, far away from our beautiful twain and walls. Your experience will surely aid us in these trying times. Wait. Let me get this straight. The invasion you're referring to, it's flood water, isn't it? Yep, that was right. Calamity. We are completely cut off from the lower levels. Okay. Let's see how bad this invasion is. <laughs> well, I'll admit it looks kind of grim, but come on. It's really shallow here. My knuckle bump of a nephew could cross that, no problem. Well, on second thought, it might be a little deep for him. Maybe when he's a bit older, but we should be able to walk through that, no problem. Alas, would that that were so. But stalwarts are staunch defenders of the land. And we do not go places where we cannot see our feet. At least, not without the appropriate equipment. Yeah, whatever. Look, I'll show you. See? 
A little cold, but nothing to worry about. You are adept at this wading business, my friend. But I cannot follow that path. Alright, guess it's up to me to defeat the water alone. Oh no, he'll come with me through the tunnel. Got it. Ah, I'm in Drod 5, so I can do this now. Great. All right, so what's going Our on here? enemy seeks to compound us at every turn. Yeah, I kind of need you this time. Ready to get your feet wet? Impossible, my friend. But look, another path reveals itself. Surely I would be able to ford this river over the top of those mirrors. Not exactly what I had in mind, but okay. I'll see what I can do. Sure. Have some mirrors. Yes, well done, my friend. Now it is my turn to aid you. Ah, oh, I smashed it. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. It's only four wide down there. Um, what am I doing? Uh, oh. Have I done something wrong here? No, 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 no. Right. <laughs> Somehow I thought that roach could reach me that turn. Okay. Okay, three water skipper nests. A few water skippers. Trap door. So I'm guessing he's not going to show up until I do this. Yep. It seems this is where you and I will part ways for a time. You must continue onwards, through our living quarters, to the rest of my division below. Sounds like a plan. What are you going to do? This accursed situation constrains my movements. But a stalwart's feet will always see him through. I shall seek my brethren through the tunnels. With good fortune, I shall find another way down. These are all looking at him. Okay, so he registers as hostile to monsters. So is he a uh, character stalwart? Okay. Whoa. Wait, where'd that guy go? Oh, out of the nest, of course. Right, okay, so this kind of stuff. Take out nests quickly. Oops. It's fixable. Okay, done. Stay dry, my friend. That chance of that. <laughs> I don't think I'm dry already. Okay. This is weird. I'm I'm perceiving some sort of anti-aliasing going on in this text that I'm not at all used to. It must it must be different between four and five for Gun Thrones and uh, Second Sky. The living quarters were not in as bad a state. Be, uh, were not in as bad a state as Bethro had feared. Puddles and debris were everywhere, but there were no cracks or gaping holes in the walls. But with the stalwarts occupied elsewhere, some new inhabitants had taken the opportunity to move in. Although Bethro had been doubtful when he had learned the true nature of the outpost's predicament, this, at least, was Smite Master work. A bit of a mess, but not so much water. Time to get smiting. This guy looks like he's just doing some work at the table. Okay, have I seen this before? Rock golems walk over shallow water. I'm not sure I knew that. Yeah, uh, from what I hear, this hold is all about the water, so I'll learn all of the interactions of shallow water and everything else. Uh, so I need you as a bridge for this. So I've already... If I'd moved a little quicker, I could have gotten it. I could use you, and I only need one, so that's fine. Yeah, that was just to show me that they go over water, so... You come here, and be a bridge. Looks like golems make good stepping stones, too, when they're not trying to kill you. Uh... Uh-oh. Okay, got it. Uh, 
Four ways to go. Does this go somewhere I can access? There, maybe? Yeah, let's say there. Rock Giants. Uh, don't let that be held. How would that be accomplished? I've never seen an orb in a wall like this before. Hmm. Okay, so hit this. Two will come out. Uh, depending on turn order... Okay, yeah, because of turn order, there'll be a gap here. The back two will step on these pressure plates and close themselves in. So we'll only have to deal with one pair at a time. Uh, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six... Oh, boy. I have to create stepping stones in all of these spaces and then put a rock golem corpse on top of them. That's gonna be a process. Hmm. How would I do that. Oh, right, right. Water. Uh. 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 Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know about this. Hang on, I need to start this differently. I wasn't quite ready for that. Whoa, 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 hold it. Okay. So one rock giant at a time, please. Sure, I'll do the bottom one first. Eh. Ah. Uh. To, to change that. I'd like you to go south one, then I do this, and then things are a little better. Things are a lot better, actually. Okay, that's an improvement. <laughs> I like this. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe that? Sure. That'll work. You should kinda get hung up there. I'm worried I don't have enough spaces to kill all of these in the places they need to go. Like right here? Okay, I can do that and that's fine, except he's coming around for me and that could be a problem. That's definitely a problem. Yeah. So back up a little more. Uh, what if I do th this? And then bring another over. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to do this, but I can maybe still make it work if I can put a golem in this space, which I should be able to. Yeah, that's possible, I think. I wish I could keep you there while I do this, but I can't. Okay. Uh, you need to move north just a little bit, but you won't move north just a little bit. You'll go all the way. And I can't really do what I want to do. Okay, having having done those two in that in those positions is a bad idea. But how would I change this at all? Yes, I can do that, but that gets the big guy around to me. Okay, okay. Remember, you can use the the water to reorient your sword. Doesn't help me. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I've I think I've set set something up the wrong way here. Let's go back a little more. Let me try. What about this? This is different. Is it better different? Maybe? So if I do that, I still get... You know, that, that amounts to the same thing. Uh, so if I could bring you over without getting the other one... It's still not great. No, I think I've done something that's made this harder than it needs to be. It would probably be much better if I killed one in each water space instead of stacking them on top of each other in the first part. Let's see if that's possible. I think it is. Yes. Yes, that's totally possible. Okay. That will probably be a better setup. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. No, dead. Uh, not dead dead, but unsolvable. Okay, so there's that. There's that. Oop. Uh. I'd rather I'd rather keep you off me until I'm ready for you. I can do it like th like this. Okay. Okay. This has some potential to be workable. I have my doubts though because I've done this again. And that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, because there's nowhere I can go from here. Both ways, just bring a, a golem into a place where I can't get past... Uh, well, sure I can get past them, but it wouldn't, wouldn't help me. How about... Uh, the, not that. Uh, no, once again. No, uh, well, okay, I can do that, sure. No, I'm, I'm trapped in this. I need to kill more of them on the, on the right side, somehow. This? This seems... Wait, this is what I did last time. Well, what if I do that, and then that? That puts one in the middle. That feels better. That feels a lot better, because now I can pull you out, put you here, but then there's nowhere for you to go. No, I can't, I can't switch sides as far as I can see and be able to get all the way around, right? Let's see. Is there any possibility I could do that in this tight space? No. No, I need to kill somebody in this column. Or I need a different setup, that's also possible. Okay. This is giving my brain a little more workout than it was getting during Gunther's adventures. I don't like that those both came to me right there. It's nice when they only... Uh, hmm. See, if I could do just one at a time, this would be easier, of course. Uh, let's see if it changes anything to start like this. Probably doesn't. But certain things could be affected by turn order and other variables. This is the same thing I did before, just flipped vertically. So I don't think it'll be any better.
but I can do that. Hey, I didn't do that before. Okay, okay, I like that a lot. That is nice. That's exactly what I want. Perfect. Okay. From here, I think I can solve it. Uh, yes, that's still fine. Yes, that's still all fine. Uh, maybe? Although... Uh, probably? Yes. Now, you're going to be a pain. But I can manage. Yes. Neat. Okay. <laughs> I was worried for a moment. It's because I was still on it. Great. Oh, that was awesome. Okay. Fagundo. Power token. Red... What's this called? Trapdoor gate. Brained rock columns. Okay, I dealt with those recently. I kind of remember how they work. Uh, where do they need to die? What's the Fagundo for? Fagundo's for clearing corpses away? No, Fagundo's for killing the brain. Okay, so deal with all golems in a way that doesn't block any trapdoor. Drop all the trapdoors, hit all the orbs, then step in the token and get the fungundo to there. Okay? So, what stops me from doing this? That kinda does. Well, it doesn't really. I mean, I can still... Ooh, right. Ooh, right. Okay, I get kind of surrounded. That's the problem. And since they're brained... Well, I can do this, and that's fine. But now I'm in a bad situation. It might be still fixable. Like, if I can hang you up on an orb or something, or there. And then... No. Oh, hey. Well, this should work, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, So that should be fine unless I'm missing something, which is entirely possible. That seemed a little... Mm, too straightforward in a way. Because, like, I have free movement here. I need to drop all the trapdoors. None of them are blocked. Got all the orbs. Yeah, that feels like what I needed to do. Oh! Okay, okay. Still doable. I didn't notice that that's what that did. Wait, oh... Got it, got it, okay. So right, aspect I missed was... I knew that floor looked funny, but I didn't quite register that there was a pressure plate there that would do that. Got it. So I don't care about uh, hitting those with my sword. I need to put golem corpses in all of those spots. Got it. Okay. That makes more sense. Alright, so nobody sees me. Everybody sees me. Uh, yeah, you here. Sure. Oh dear. Uh, due to wonky brain movement, I was almost able to get away from that. But not quite. did that happen? Why were they perfectly able to chase me here? But then when I step there, it changes. Why does that change? Why did those... No, those are... Those are... 
later in the turn order, and yet for some reason those two decide not to move there. I don't understand that behavior. Maybe it has to do with the path that the brain chooses and Gollum's not knowing how to dodge around corners. That'd be my best guess, I guess. Yeah, because once I'm here, their pathfinding is just not the same. Two turn undo is nice. I missed it. <laughs> I'll try not to abuse it too heavily. Alright, I need you. Right over... Well, no, not quite there. I mean, yes, there... Oh, hey, there we go. Uh, can I make this work? No. No. Hmm. As you can probably tell, I don't really have a plan here. Let me start over. This is the easiest to reach. Let's try getting one there first. So here, they don't know how to dodge around that, but once I... Oh, no, 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 it's the force arrow. Never mind. Hmm. Hmm. Why are you not doing what I want you to do? Go there. Go there. Okay, well, you did. Sure. Fine. It's a start. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Okay, there's some water I can use to stop some of you. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. This is good. This is good. There's one. So I got those two and didn't disrupt the other trapdoors too much. I think if I do something like this... Nah, I thought I could lose one of them. Uh, yeah, I do need to remember that I can use the trapdoors to my advantage to change the way they'll come toward me. Yes, good. Uh, you are going to want to do... This. That, I see. That's not what I wanted you to do. Aha! Stealth! Great. Okay. Will you find your way to this square, or do I need to help you? Okay, cool. I think that does it. Yeah, using the trapdoors to create obstacles to alter their pathfinding was what I really needed to do there. That was what I was missing and why it wasn't working for me before. Okay, so Fagundo, hit orbs. When was the last time I worked with a Fagundo? It's been a really long time, I think. This leads to other places. Is the other... the south path standalone? No, uh, no. Those all lead to other places. Okay. I just happened to choose the two dead ends first. Evil eyes. I can get this... can I get that one out? Okay, that one's gonna see me. Looks like I only need just like one bridge tile there somehow. All the rest I can get. No, I can't have that evil eye see me unless this works. No, it doesn't. Oh, I need one up here so that I can be... Oh, neat. Oh, that's clever. Okay. So first you. This work. Uh, you two have kind of trapped yourselves there, but I can fix it. Now, I need... I need, uh, I need my sword another way. I am not gonna get it. If I do this, I can get some distance, yeah. I like this. 
Uh, I have to do the same thing here. Got it. Wait, but I'm out of golems. What do I do with only one golem left? Okay, so the simple solution wasn't as good as I thought it might be. Just having this eye see me is not enough. Yes, I could place a golem there at that intersection. They would both see me, but so what? I still couldn't... Wait, no, 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 no. I need to place you not at this intersection. Use the water to kill this, because that'll be fine. I can just wait over and stab it without it ever having seen me. Got it. So I just need you to die in a place that is not... Mm, no, I need... I need to move you there and leave you there while I deal with this evil eye. Without it seeing me. Then... I can bring you back and have you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will work. Oops. Neat! <laughs> okay. I was rather hoping I'd have a chance to dry out by now. Alright, so this is a fantastic start. Yeah. Yeah, I like this a lot. This is super cool. So what did I do? Only like three real rooms? <laughs> that took a little while. Yeah, this is going to be another slow crawl through a, a pretty hard hold, I have a feeling. But it seems really high quality so far. I like it a lot. Okay, well, I'll see you next time for more of water damage.